This is my tree. If you saw my loot crate unboxing video, you know this is my tree. Whatever. Merry Christmas. <laughs> What's up everybody, I'm Ray from Rise Creation. This is the top five Christmas movies. I know the scenery is a little dark right now, but it's like one o'clock in the morning and I'm filming this on Christmas or really the 26th. So I wanted to get this out by um, top five, not 10, but top five Christmas movies for me. Okay, here's my number five, okay? Number five, Batman Returns. <laughs> if you've seen Batman Returns, it was released in 1992, directed by Tim Burton, and it stars Michael Keaton as Batman, obviously. Okay, so the Tim Burton film took place during the holidays in Gotham City. So technically, it's a Christmas movie. That's what I'm sticking with. Number four is going to be pretty much a classic. It, it came out in the 80s. This movie is a Christmas story. A Christmas Story. If you haven't seen The Christmas Story, Ralphie Parker wanted a BB gun for Christmas. You know, it's that really famous scene. So there's a Christmas light at the mall. There's a Santa. The character, Ralphie, is asking Santa for a gift, but he kind of goes blank. So he goes, okay, next. Uh, take the kid off and throw him down the slide. Ralphie stops himself down the slide, kind of climbs back up a little bit to Santa and says, I want to... And then he says the whole long name of the TV show. Uh, uh, and he wants, it winds up being a BB gun. And Santa literally says, you shoot your eye out, kid. And just like lightly nudges his forehead with Santa's foot and uh, knocks him down the slide. So, number four, A Christmas Story. Number three in my top five Christmas movies is another classic from the 80s when I was a kid. I didn't see it until I was like my mid-teens. Um, but it's Gremlins. How can people forget about Gremlins? You know how many people kept mentioning Elf and mentioning, really, Jingle of the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger? It's okay, but pfft. How can you forget the Mogwai, Gizmo, the Mogwai, that don't feed him after midnight, don't get him wet because then uh, um, he gets aggressive and, and he multiplies and he, it's a monster that reproduces asexually whenever he gets wet. Good job, 80s. So anyway, the movie was fun. The movie was creepy. It was one of those horror, funny Christmas movies that I can see at any given time. Because the movie is just entertaining. It has that, that, that nostalgia feeling. Gremlins, watch it if you haven't seen it yet. Number two, Home Alone. Come on. Kevin McAllister, stuck in a house. His whole family forgot his ass left them while they went to wherever the hell they went, I don't know, whatever. And then he was home alone. And then two robbers try to break into the house, and then Kevin McAllister wasn't having that, and he pretty much was whooping their ass. Anybody in their 20s, any, and as anybody in their 30s, and anybody in their 40s will watch this movie to this day and be like, yep, go Kevin. Number one Christmas movie for life, okay? This one was mentioned a couple of times on the Facebook and the Twitter and, and, and so it's pretty much all the social medias that I put up. My number one of top five is Die Hard. Die freaking hard. John McClane. Yippee ki yay mother. Come on. If you see that movie Die Hard with the action in that movie, it happens at Christmas time. It happens at Christmas time. I don't care what you guys say or anybody says, oh, it's not a Christmas themed blah, blah, blah. It's not blah, blah, blah. I don't care. It came out. There's a Christmas, there's a touch of Christmas in there. It was action packed, it was fun to watch, and I could still watch the movie 10 years, 15 years later, and still be like, that's a good movie. Fantastic. Die Hard is my number one Christmas movie, okay? Why don't you tell me your top five in the comments below? Tell me your top five or your favorite holiday movie, whatever it is, whatever it could possibly be, okay? And I would really appreciate the feedback. Hit those likes, subscribe, share, tell your mom about my channel, tell your sister, tell your cousin, tell your brother, tell your roommate from 10 years ago, tell your fiance, your husband, your wife, whatever. Tell whoever you want to tell about my channel. If they like movies, then they're going to like my channel coming up um, with the future projects coming up because I'm going to be changing up a couple things. Still with the movie reviews, that's not stopping. 
but um, other more interesting uh, projects I have going on and hopefully 2017 will really blow up my channel and oh, imagine a YouTube star in the making follow that's gonna be my top five everybody thank you for watching I appreciate it please like share subscribe and more importantly once you like share and subscribe hit that little bell icon so that way you can see um, you're notified of my future videos and everything I'm ready for my inspiration thank you so much happy holidays everybody